Howdy y'all. You got the bulldog on the channel. Now, today, I'm not really, really doing a how-to. It's just a little bit of a explanation as to why some guys get really angry uh, when it comes to appointments and everything. Uh, I'm doing this here because uh, this truck's got to be inspected and today's the only day to do it. They found out the turn signal switch was bad. So that's what we're doing. Booked it in this morning. Didn't know what time we were going to be doing it. Because we hadn't gotten the parts yet. Didn't know if they had the parts or not. Got two of them in the shop that have to be done today. One of them has to be done before 3 o'clock. So, what we end up with is a whole bunch of jobs layered on top of each other. And it just kind of happens. And it happens way too much. Some of it is they'll say I can't do that and well they need it. <laughs> so you do it. Yeah. It's not ideal for anybody. Least of all the guy that's juggling three things at once. Sanity becomes an issue. One issue we run into on stuff like this also is it don't fit in the shop. Our doors aren't tall enough because our shop is not made as an auto shop. It's actually made as a dog kennel. <laughs> a big one, but still. Uh, this is a different style. I really hope it fits. But what you end up doing since you're away from your toolbox is running in and out constantly. Because you don't know what you're going to need unless you've done a job several times. I have never put one of these on before. So I kind of crossed my fingers and hope that it's going to be easy. Okay. Sure don't want to come out of there. What are we hit. There we go. It's not too bad so far. But you have to have a long skinny screwdriver to get into the top, a shorter screwdriver to get the cover off. Uh, it's like everything else. You, you never have enough, so you keep running back inside. And as you can probably feel, the truck's still running because it is December. So it's cold out here. It's easy to get overwhelmed with this stuff. Oh. Now I'm going to unplug everything down here. If I can find it all. Oh. This is uh, fun when you have one of these days. I've talked to probably, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, five people. I need it, need, need it. Problem is, it's all at the same time. 
Alright, what's this look like? Oh. Well. Shoot, there's another wire. It goes clear back in there. I hope uh, I can get that. Coming down with the glue also, so that helps. Uh, I don't know what the deal is. They they constantly change this stuff. They can't do the same thing on different vehicles everything comes apart differently so you have to stop and check yourself and stop and check yourself so you're not breaking something <sighs> nothing standard <sighs> oh doesn't help that I still have a pinched nerve in my back. Makes things fun. Okay, here's this. Uh. Alright, there's the old one. I'm going to try to the new one all put together and not lose any wiring it really tucks up in here uh, uh, and there's a lot of people that'll say just tell them you can't do it just tell them you can't do it you can't help it if you can't do it well that's the biggest issue so obviously I can do it. It's just very, very difficult. Because you've got several things going on at once. Uh, Alright, there's all them wires. Now they run up through the bottom of this column. Fortunately, the bottom of this column comes off. Still. Nice, I just dropped one. Gotta go by feel. That's fun. I'm gonna get this all back together and then I'll get back to you after it's after it's on its way out. Alright, there it is. One thing about grain trucks and, and road tractors, a lot of that stuff is easier to get to. But boy, it's harder to get to when you gotta run back in for your tools constantly. Okay, it's taken care of. It was supposed to be here after lunch. And, well, I got it done and now it's after lunch by about five minutes. 
it, it is, you know, once in a blue moon, once in a while for the customer. For the mechanic, they it's every day or every other day. I don't know how often it is, but it is very frequent that these emergencies come up because you're the guy that they go to in an emergency. And they're not alone. Everybody else goes to you in an emergency. Not only do you have your own emergencies, you got to plan for everybody else's emergencies too. So you do what you can to take care of it. And there we go. The issue with the truck was that it had one brake light out, a turn signal worked, which uses the same wiring. So it would not pass inspection. But it's taken care of now. I hate days like this. Everybody needs it now. We're turning away people quite a bit, and we're actually booking three weeks out now. So, it's not fun when it gets like this. I figured I'd let you in on some of the stuff that just happens just constantly. And then whenever you call the mechanic and they say, well, it's gonna be this long or this, it doesn't matter how much you need it a lot of times if they can get to it, they can get to it. So try to be understanding as much as you can. Like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it all around. We'll talk to you later.